Welcome to the Biggest Loser Kitchen. You're seeing all the behind the scenes and we're going straight to the dirty dishes. I'm telling on all the boys because they're supposed to be putting away their dishes and look at this. If I go against this, they will all fall into the sink and they'll be dirty again. So boys, put away your dishes or else I will beat you in the challenge. Okay, moving on. We have all of our coffees and different things here and we love all, all of our sweeteners and things that we can drink. We also keep a lot of fruit and veggies in the house. Fresh is the best and we love to make sandwiches and different things that will fill us up for our workouts. So we always have packs of holy guacamole laying around. I literally have 50, 50 of these under my mattress and I'm not lying. It's really sad but it's true. So these are our favorite snacks. We have two double fridge, double fridges. Lots, we always keep lots of fresh veggies. To, oh, looky there. I mean, I didn't do this on purpose, people, okay? So lots of fresh veggies and lots of, you know, greens and lunch meat and things that keep, can keep us full all day. Welcome to the Rumpus Room. This is the biggest scissor living room. Sometimes, occasionally, we'll have a day off and it's nice to actually sit on a normal couch and you know feel normal that you get to take a small 30 minute nap or something like that but we also have a lot of secret meetings in here like our teams we're getting our plans together for the week we meet in here and close the doors and have secret meetings so this is kind of a secret place we also do have two computers but unfortunately we can only go to one website that calculates our calories for us so no Facebook, no MySpace, no life things because we're very secluded here. So there's not a lot of media going on in this room. Although, like I said, you will see some very interesting, juicy private conversations going on in the living room. How about come upstairs and take a look at where we actually sleep? Which is not really a lot of sleep, but there is some. Sleep is, a hey Ken. Sleep is actually one of the most important things about our Life of the Biggest Loser because it's when your body actually recovers. So really getting more sleep is actually a cheat on your calorie burn because your body keeps burning when you're sleeping. So that's a little tip. Always get your eight hours in. It's very quiet up in here. That makes me a little nervous. I don't hear a lot of people. So this is our Biggest Loser hallway. All of our rooms have our names on them. So you see like Olivia and Hannah. So this is the Biggest Loser Medical Office. We get all of our medical treatment here. We ice our knees and our feet every day. Sandy, who is our medical trainer, who is one of the show's biggest well-kept secrets, takes care of us and really just makes sure our bodies are healthy. He's there for all accidents. Every time I have a slip and fall, which is about three times a week, Sandy makes sure that we're okay. So we have all of our three tables. When we come in and ice, we heat. Um, this is our icing station right here where we do, we wrap our knees. Also, we have our fully stocked medical cabinet. I can never have a medicine cabinet like this. This is like the medicine cabinet that girls dream of. Every kind of fingernail file, every kind of tape, every kind of vitamin you can ever imagine keeps the Biggest Losers going strong every day. So this is the very spot that Dr. Hyzenga, the Biggest Loser medical doctor, told Olivia and I that we're at high risk for diabetes. You know, our actual weight, um, our actual age was in the 70s, what we've done to our body. All that happens in this room right here. So at the beginning, this was a really scary room, but now that we're getting healthier and we're getting stronger, this is a great room to be in. <laughs> 